with me now are Sinn Féin's Marcin O'Millier and the SDLP's Conor McGrath. Welcome to you both. Marcin O'Millier, first of all, your reference to those uh, on the sunny side of the street, just to pick up on our musical theme there, provoked a bit of a reaction uh, yesterday, I think it was, the day before. Do you regret leaving the DEP out of your upbeat post-election message? It was actually the, the bright side of the road people, and really I do think that this has been an election for the bright side of the road people. And C.S. Lewis, of course, had this wonderful saying that it's funny from day to day, it seems like nothing changes, then you look back and everything has changed. I really do think that last Thursday, and I disagree with Mike Nesbitt, and this, Mike Nesbitt talked about a polarising election on Thursday. Actually, if you analyse it, uh, Mark, there was a, a coming together of people. Uh, you have now this progressive, I don't know if I can call it progressive alliance, Naomi Long may have copyright on that word, but you have the Greens, I think, who moved to the side of equality and justice. You have the Alliance Party, who are very strong in marriage equality and the Irish Language Act. Of course, they're now expressing some support for that. You've left the plus, DEP out of plus, this. Well, sorry, yeah. plus the SDLP, uh, plus ourselves. And do we leave out those who believe in discrimination? Yes, unfortunately we do, but there's a golden bridge. Those who want to stand up, and, and, I, and I heard a fairly uh, dismal view of what the future holds for our people from, from my, my, my dear friend Geoffrey and, and David there. Mm. Actually, I think there's a very bright future for all of us if we can agree that everyone has to be treated the same. No but but, but, but does that not mean also the people who support the DUP? They have to be included in the tent as well. You've talked about equality and, and respect and all the rest of it uh, during the election campaign. The DUP has a huge mandate. You, you just disincluded them from your blog. No, no, I said, you do I, said, that? I said it was a great day for, for the bright side of the road people, and so it was. But those who do not believe in equality, of course I believe in, I believe in the beloved community, I believe in an inclusive community. The first thing I did as finance minister was to visit the Skianos project. You said you don't want to bolster the, the no. fading fortunes of the DUP? No, no, I said that actually some voters within the UUP decided to transfer to the SDLP rather than go to DUP. Let me explain why that is. Let me just make this point. We'll do it briefly. Okay. Yeah. What is actually happening in this society is different than what Geoffrey and David talked about. People are making choices based on the idea of real partnership, a real fresh start, right. back to the Good Friday Agreement principles of parity. Oh, oh, okay. when you, and when you make those choices, Mark, for marriage equality, for national equality, then you do move away from those who believe in discrimination. Yeah. They, they, and well, do you, they, believe in that? Whether you like it or not, they don't agree with you on those issues. They may agree with you on other issues, and they may be your partners in government if Stormont gets back up and running again. Morris Kincaid, who's a man involved in community work, you will know well for many years in East Belfast, um, re responded publicly to what you'd said. He said, and let me quote it, looks like Marching's vision of a new Belfast includes everyone except the fading DUP and any Ulster unionist who failed to transfer to nationalist. I'm not a unionist, he said, but I'd like any new Belfast to have room for everyone. Isn't and, that and, the point? And uh, Morris, I respect uh, deeply and I agree with him. I have seen this, Mark. I'm old enough. I was in Belfast City Council in 1997. For 400 years, it was a, 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 a form of government run for one side of our people. 1997 became an inclusive. Alvin McGuinness became the first nationalist Lord Mayor. In the years since, I think those who live in the city of Belfast will agree that inclusion, that a city for all, and the unionists have had their place in City Hall as well. And I think we have a better city today because of that. But the DUP still has a place at the table. Well, of course, not only that, but I mean, at, at my table, of course. In my table, Everyone eats, everyone eats at the same table, and in the, the DUP's version and vision of our future, some people eat in the kitchen, and I'm wholly against that. We're all on the front of the bus together, and the DUP right. have that choice. We 